So did it as a matter of academic interest, which card would you have gone for, sir? The three of clubs. The three of clubs. Is that a particular favourite card of yours? Uh, it is. Sir. It is. <laughs> you have a favourite card. It's a little sad if you don't mind me saying so. Isn't it? <laughs> Every man's got to have a hobby, haven't they? Anyway, that's quite a coincidence. I'll explain why, because before I came out and seen it, I had a feeling not only that the eight of spades would be selected, but another card. I actually took this card, placed it inside an envelope, put it inside a wallet, uh, which I have here. Uh, it's an empty wallet, apart from this envelope. You're probably way ahead of me, are you, sir? <laughs> not a clue. <laughs> not a clue what's going on, I suspect. But if I turn up in the end, there is in fact one side, one card inside, one card happens to be the three of clubs. All right, thank you. So, it's the day of the month of your birthday. Can you tell me that, Jim? Eighth year, eighth of August. Right, which I think makes you a, a Leo, is that right? It does? The Lord of the Jungle, King of the Beasts? <laughs> I don't think so, Jim. All right. Do you have any idea what the characteristics of Leo's are? Indecisive, very good, well done. I'm actually quite good, it's very hard to shout out another zodiac sign. I'm going to attempt to quit character reading. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, impulsive, quick to jump in. <laughs> this is the impressive bit though, Jim. Would you be impressed if I'd actually written the 8th of August on the back of this card? You would, Jim's nodding there. All right, there we are. It's about there, Jim. All right, so... <laughs> Lynn, have a quick look at the envelope there. Is it a sealed envelope? Yeah. Do you want to share it around with a glamorous magician assistant sort of style there, Lynn? <laughs> <laughs> Very good, bit of a natural there. And I have here a knife, or as you call it, a Manchester credit card. Is that right, Peter? <laughs> <laughs> And then inside here, I in fact have your P45, so... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Kevin mention that. Right. That little piece of paper, I'd like to take it out, I'd like to unfold it. It actually unfolds into four, if that makes sense. Do you need glasses, by the way, Lynn? No. no you drink straight out of the bottle. Well on you. <laughs> have a quick read of that, Lynn. You look, you look like you're having problems. Tr tr try that, okay. <laughs> Very useful in the bedroom. <laughs> Well, the wife thinks so. So the, the important bit is the bit in the bottom right-hand corner there. If you can make that bit out, forget about the rest. I'll read that. It says, I predict that tonight I will meet the following person. Name? Nikki. Nikki, there she is. Uh, birthday? 30th of May. 30th of May, Clint. And from? Manchester. From Manchester, Peter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Signed, Ian Keeble. That's right, same name. Clint, thank you. Very much for that, Thank you. So, are you concentrating on a significant year in your life, Steve? Yeah. Okay, because nothing much is coming through at the moment, I'll be honest with you. I'm picking up, picking up John's thoughts, which is slightly right. <laughs> no, that's better. I've committed myself, Steve, I cannot change my mind. So very important, nothing's been set up between the two of us, is that correct? Correct. No money's exchanged hands? Not yet. <laughs> no sexual favours promised? You didn't say not yet that time, did you, Steve? <laughs> So Steve, you asked to get this right, would you buy a drink? Buy a drink? I would buy a drink, yeah. For everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, for the first time, what is the year that you are thinking of? 1967. 1967. Well, I got the first two digits right, anyway. What happened in 1967 then, Steve? The year I was born. Alright, so you can remember that one, can you? <laughs> Very impressive. <laughs> 1967, well, I haven't done too badly. Once again, though, I'm going to ask you because you've got a cracking eyesight there. What does that say? 1967. 1967, thank you very much. Because I'm about my person a 16-page newspaper. I need something maybe at the back of the room to give any number between 1 and 16. You can shout that out nice and loud. 12. 12, okay. Number 7 is often a very popular choice, I think. <laughs> I'll tell you, sir, there's ever not been thought of, would you mind now subtracting 5 from it? While you're doing that, uh, let's see if we can work out what the newspaper is. So, Jim, I'm going to try to mentally telegraph it towards you. Any idea what the paper is? <laughs> uh, this time, I want you to decide whether you want to keep my right or your left. Do you want to keep my right or your left? <laughs> Take your time on this, Shirley. And then, if I was to turn around the edges of this 16-sheet newspaper and actually convert it into 16 separate pieces, 
Yet as I'm doing this, I'm also converting short articles in the Telegraph to feature length articles in the Sun. <laughs> which will please Jim enormously. <laughs> Uh, sir, can you see a problem with working on that sheet of paper? Uh, you probably haven't seen the sheet of paper, can you see? Court, court. We started off with a 16 sheet newspaper by process of elimination. Thanks, thanks to Shirley over there, we got down to one sheet, but that one sheet, one square, one square, one word. That word once again was court. The word I made. Stop wherever you like as I go through the cards like this. Stop. Do you want to stop? Stop there, this one or the one there? No. That one. Okay, Judy, that's fine. I'm going to ask you to take that card. Obviously, I have a number on it. I can see the number as well. You can show it to everybody else. What's the number on it? Five. Five. Right. Ooh, this is great. Great. This is... <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. No. There we are. Five. Let's have a look, see what um, the way I'm going to greet you. Ah, oh, that's a hug. Is that alright, Judy? Do you mind that? Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 right, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ian Peacock. Gentlemen, just arriving there. You're a bit early, sir, because I'm still on. <laughs>